Good day guys, this is my semi-portable power pack and the reason I call it semi-portable is because it's very heavy. It weighs about 150 pounds. But you can see there's a handle here. There's a handle on the other side so two men can actually pick it up and walk away with it. But definitely not one person in, unless you're the Incredible Hulk or if you want to break your back. This here is the uh, Xantrex. It's a pure sine wave inverter. It's called a ProWatt SW. And here's a button here to put it on. Um, this is one of the top quality inverters. Um, it probably competes with GoPower or Samalex. Um, I, I'm not sure if this is the same quality as Pro Power, but or sorry, Go Power, but it's got to be close. It, it's a good one. It, it's pretty expensive. So as you can see here, it jumps from amps to volts. So right now it's fully charged. It's 13 volts, and I'm using zero amps. So it will just go back and forth there all the time. As long as it's on, that's what it's going to do. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I've powered this little fridge here for four full days. That really impressed me. I will show you inside of it soon. Um, there's uh, two 6 volts batteries in there. I'm also going to show you what else I powered with it. This is my little oil stove here and I powered that for two full days so 48 hours and I still had juice in the battery I still had 11.8 uh, volts left but I unplugged it because I don't want to let it go down to 11.5 uh, or 11.4 volts because if you do that too often um, you can damage the batteries the batteries are not going to last as long <clears throat> and it's the same when I powered this little fridge here uh, it powered it for four days and um, I was down to 11.8 volts so uh, I un unplugged it and then I put the charger on it this is a genius charger I'm really impressed with this charger here the quality is amazing it's a very intelligent charger um, there's even a mode there it's called repair so if your battery is damaged uh, you can repair it with this charger I guess there's a limit of course but so this is how I charge it so so if there's an emergency I can take this power pack out you know I can heat my house for two days or run the, that little fridge here for four days and after when the power is back on then I can just plug this in here okay and it's gonna take about I think 16 hours to uh, to recharge my batteries Now this uh, Xantrex inverter, it's uh, 1000 watt, you can see here, uh, but in the manual it's actually 900 watt continuous, uh, but it is 2000 watt peak, but what the manual does not tell me is, is it 2000 watt peak for one minute or for 20 minutes? That I do not know because the manual does not say but I will say, hold on a minute, I'll show you. I powered my coffee machine with it this morning. There's my coffee machine here. This is like a Keurig. It's made by Bun, but it's the same thing. It's got the K-Pods there. And um, I've used a, um, a kilowatt meter and it uses uh, almost 1500 watts when it runs and this morning I made a coffee and it ran you can hear the boiling water it ran for about a full minute and my inverter just worked flawlessly yes the fan did went on uh, but uh, it worked perfectly I was super impressed alright I will show you on the inside now Okay, this is just a, a lid made out of plywood and I glued another piece of thinner plywood here. 
Okay, so I've got two 6 volt batteries here. They're uh, Trojan batteries. Uh, I hear they're the best. And they're hooked up in series. Because there's 6 volts, I got negative here to positive. And then my, uh, my amp is, uh, is hooked up to the negative and the positive. And then here I got the wires here, that's for my battery charger. So uh, these two batteries here, I think they're 65 pounds each, just for the batteries. And um, I have 225 amp hour here at 12 volts with these two batteries. Because it's hooked up in series, I, I now get 12 volts out of it. Um, <clears throat> I could have used two 12 volt batteries but it wouldn't as, uh, last as long. It would probably only last five years. These, because they are six volts batteries, they should last about 10 years. And what I understand is because the plates on the inside, they're way further apart. And that's why the six volt batteries last so much longer. Here, I'm gonna give you a better, closer up, closer look here. All right, so negative to positive. And then the amp is connected. There's the positive and there's the negative. So you got 12 volts here. Okay, so I got holes in the lid here. Okay, so it goes through the plywood and it's just simply connected here. So it's very, very simple. Also, I'd like to note that when this uh, inverter, I call it amplifier a second ago, sorry, it's an inverter. When it powered this fridge for four days, this fridge is uses so little hydro that the, the fan on this uh, Xantrex here, it's in the back here, you see the fan here? It never started once, so it was completely, completely silenced. Same thing when I powered my little oil stove here, the, uh, the, the fan never came on, not even once. So again, I, so far I'm really happy with the Xantrex. So let's bring this in the shop and let's try to power a few power tools. Okay guys, you just saw me, I plugged this uh, battery charger here in my uh, power pack, my inverter, and according to the research I've done on the internet, these are very, very, these battery charger here are super sensitive. You need really, really clean power in order for this to charge your battery. So we will test my Xantrex pure sine wave inverter and see how good it is. See if this is going to charge my battery. So here it goes. Look at that. It's charging. This is my charging light here. So yeah, for sure I am impressed with that Xantrex inverter. I paid a lot of money for it, but uh, it looks like it's paying off. Okay guys, I'm going to try a few tools here and see how far I can uh, push the limit on this inverter. So we'll start with the router. See if that's gonna work. No problem at all. I was reading the, the draw of the amperage and it was using like 0.8 amps. And uh, the fan never kicked on at all. a skill saw here. Uh, this should use a bit more power I would imagine. 
It's a bigger motor. Wow. Wow, that uses a lot of power. It says uh, error one tenth here. I'm going to show you. All right. So I'm going to put it off. Put it back on. All right, let's try this one more time. I'll just plug it on the other side. I don't think it makes a difference, but let's try this. No, oh, it tripped again. Wow, I'm amazed at how much power this draws. That's incredible. Because, it, I mean, my coffee machine uses uh, 1400 uh, watts and it powered no problem and it won't power this so I can just imagine how many watts this uses. I'm going to have to try that on my little meter to see how many watts this thing uses. Now this is my super heavy duty massive grinder here. Look at the size of this cord, that's crazy. So I don't believe for a second that this will power at it. If my skill saw didn't work, I, I can't see <clears throat> how this would work. Yeah, it kicked off again. Let's try a, a smaller grinder. Okay, let's try the uh, five inch orbital sander. No problem at all. It was using uh, 0.11 amps. So actually it was using more power than the um, the router. Okay, this is a, uh, a four and a half inch angle grinder. Was using 0.46 amp, so it's using quite a bit of power. Okay, guys, I'm just going to show you a look at the reading. What happens when I use my uh, four and a half inch angle grinder? Okay, you saw that, so I was showing 12.7 uh, volts and uh, it was drawing about 0 .40, 0 0.42 amps or so. As you can see here, there's also a plug-in if you want to charge your cell phone. Okay guys, I just uh, plugged in my 4.5 inch angle grinder and let's see how many watts it uses. Okay, as you, as you can see, it uses a little over 500 uh, watts. And um, as you saw, my battery pack had no problem running this. Okay guys, you saw me earlier uh, use my circular saw um, into my uh, inverter and it would run, not run it whatsoever. So this is what I got plugged in right now is my circular saw. So let's see how many watts my circular saw will use. Ok 
Okay, I chose here it uses a uh, 1000 watt and remember I told you earlier that my inverter um, can use 2000 watt peak. So I'm assuming the startup of my circular saw uses more than 2000 watt peak and you cannot measure this on this device because it's too slow. It's too slow to respond. So I'm assuming it uses a uh, you know a lot of energy on startup and that's why it, it won't run it okay guys that's it for today as you can see this uh, inverter will not power everything um, I could have used a modified sine wave inverter maybe a 3000 watt it would have been cheaper than this and it would probably have powered my uh, circular saw but I needed a pure sine wave inverter to run my um, oil stove because it's got sensitive electronics and it will only run on pure sine wave. And I did not buy a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter because they're super expensive. I think it's like $2,000, it's uh, ridiculous. So overall, I'm happy with this system and you might be wondering, this is a lot of money here just in case there's an emergency that might never ever happen but I'm planning to use this this summer to water my garden I'm going to remove this inverter I'm going to buy a, uh, a 12 volt water pump there's a river near my garden and I will hook up a 300 watt solar panel now let me know in the review if a three, uh, 300 watt solar panel if it's underrated or is it overkill, uh, I, I just thought a 300 watt solar panel uh, uh, would be good for to charge these two batteries. So anyways, I'll definitely get a lot of use of it this summer. So um, I hope this video was informative if you're thinking about uh, building your own power box. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. Some are simple like this, some are complicated, some they got uh, prongs for 12 volts and they got uh, uh, you know a car lighter plug-in and all kinds of gimmicks um, this one is more simple and that's the way I wanted it anyways thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe